I am back, ladies and gentlemen. Had a mechanical hiatus. Going to drop a little part two on you. Not going to be too long. And um, uh, as it, finish up on some prop bets. Uh, some of the prop bets uh, that uh, struck me, uh, that caught my attention, were Josh Allen. Josh Allen, two and a half touchdowns. <laughs> Total touchdowns, that's it. Rushing, throwing, catching, I don't care what. He's going to nail that. He's going to nail it. Um, he he might, I mean, they're playing the, the, uh, the, the squealers. I would imagine he would have at least those two touchdowns in the first quarter alone. <laughs> Um, and then he'll get one more throughout the game uh, just to really pour it on. He has no problem pouring it on, I can assure you, because they were up by 30, and they were still throwing 60-yard bombs to Stephon Diggs. Uh, uh, and uh, Dalvin Cook, um, his over-under, I think, is 78 rushing yards. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go nail it over because they're playing the, the, the Bears, who has just been a turnstile this year uh, for running backs. Um, it's really hard to even fathom being a Bears fan, much less uh, trying to stop one of the better running backs in the league. He'd be really good if he was paired with his backup, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so I'm not going to lie and say I don't want him to get hurt, um, but you need Alexander Madison or I need Cook. There's no other explanation. Um, and uh, Tyler Lockett was the last one. His uh, He had an over-under of five receptions. The dude's actually getting a ton of targets. Like, believe it or not, uh, he's not good at football. Don't get that twisted. But um, he, uh, I mean, he's got like uh, 10, 9, and 7 targets, you know, from Gino, who's actually a relatively decent quarterback right now. Um, I don't I, I don't know. He, um, it might, it, he, I think he nailed it. I think he hits that. Uh, the C Seattle's playing, uh, who are they playing? They're playing somebody pretty good, so I would imagine they'd be in a negative game script as are most of their games being in a negative game script. Um, but, yeah, uh, that is some of the prop bets. Uh, we will go – let me go over um, some of the standings real quick, and then I really will get out of here. My uh, my storage needs to be uh, filled back up. Make a pause. Um, all right, standings in the no division. It's the trash bag. Shocker, I know. Shocker, 3-1, uh, and 90% chance of making the playoffs – um uh 490 points in the league that is um that is second highest behind behind skeet by 17 points who skeets in seventh <laughs> so um what do you want from me skeet has had 567 points against him which is i mean really not even close uh the next closest is gary at 524 the next closest after that is 450 so he's almost getting outscored by more. Outside of Gary, he's getting outscored by a hundred. He's getting a hundred more points against. So on average, and how many weeks have we played? Th four weeks. The dude's getting twenty-five extra points a week put on him, uh, even by uh, people who aren't good, um, like like Clay. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna just I am uh, 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 Matt. Uh, I mean uh, Scoggins three and one. Uh, Evan two and two. Cheese one and three. Gary zero oh and four. Um, this is an incredibly pathetic division. Um, Gary is at eleven percent making the chance of making the playoffs, which is not very high, obviously. Um, uh, in the cheese division, three and one, three and one, three and one. Extremely competitive over there, Matt. Calder and Clay in order based off points scored. 81%, 81%, and 80% is their chance of making the playoffs. Followed by Skeet at one and three and Alex of one and three. Um and I would Alex so the league top down, myself, the trash bag, uh Matt, Scoggins, Calder, Clay, Evan, Skeet, Alex, Cheese, Gary. Wow. What a pathetic league. What, what a pathetic disgrace of names at the bottom of that league. Um, and, you know, really, that's all I, That's all else I got. I don't, I don't, I don't want to uh, drag my feet anymore. Um, call, no government, call no government on issuing uh, visas on dragging their feet. Um, uh, it, it, ooh, we can do the budget summary real quick. That's fun. Um, the, let's see. Oh, they, oh, here we go. Um, the least amount of money left in the league. Cheese. $36. I could not imagine being in ninth place 
and only having $36 left. So that's just, again, it's just a byproduct of his lack of communication and care toward the league. Um, uh, and the, the most amount of money left in the league would be um, – Gary at 97, that that that, that, that correlates, right? 0-4, a lot of money left. Hadn't got the guys he wanted. Um, Galt's got 91. Uh, myself, I have 93. So most point, no, most most left in the league is Gary, myself, and Matt. Myself and Matt put ourselves in decent spots, having a good bit of fab left on top of um, being able to – it would still be 31. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what else I have for the, for this week. You're all a bunch of animals, absolute animals. Um, again, tune in to the matches of the week, uh, Clay and Scoggins, we'll, we'll call that a subtle showdown. And then, uh, the, probably the more vocal showdown would be, um, um, uh, Calder and Matt. Uh, but either way, none of you are any good. It's embarrassing how to even, I couldn't even imagine being in some of y'all's shoes, um, uh, it, oh, goodness gracious. Anyway, uh, as, as far as trading goes, y'all are animals. Y'all are animals. Y'all need to, yeah, like, you can look at a name, like, you know, you, you, you gotta think. Just think. That's all I ask. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna wrap up. Um, pause. And, um, Pay Lamar. Uh, let's see. Nathaniel Hackett plays tonight. That's gonna be tough to watch. Like, humiliatingly tough to watch. And, um, uh, that's it. Become dinner, or you're gonna eat, you either gotta eat it, or you become it. Um, and, unless you're just some people who just sit in the buffet and rot away. <laughs> the, but anyway, get to finessing, finessers, finessees, the trash bag. He's out. Thank you for your commitment to my channel. It's able to financially support my family. Um, it's not. <laughs> uh, Evan amount of idiots we're with. I'm out, baby.